welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to way to serve style serving you your dose of fashion beauty and lifestyle i'm crystal waiters and i do all of the things i'm a makeup artist stylist simply a fashion and beauty enthusiast and if fashion and beauty is something that you love as much as i do consider subscribing this channel is growing and it's growing rapidly hey to my new subscribers <laughs> and yeah we want you to be a part of this community and again if you love all things fashion and beauty comment below some ideas some suggestions let's talk in the comments below if you are on instagram please make sure you follow me at way to serve style and if you are into blogs please make sure you follow my blog way to serve style.com where i give you more tips and suggestions on how to make your wardrobe work for you. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, let's get into the video. Of course, I'm going to say it's a good one because it is. It's a good one. Okay. Today's video is a little different since we are full in the holiday season. Today's video, I'm giving you, providing you my luxury wish list for the holidays. Now, Luxury is something that I'm taking baby steps in because I feel that luxury should be purchased out of surplus. I personally do not believe that if you are working hard, working nine to five, and you haven't met that goal of, you know, having excess income to kind of play around with certain things, I don't think luxury should be a bill. <laughs> I prefer to have luxury in surplus so we haven't quite dove in yet however comma <laughs> i thought this would be a fun video to provide you guys with my luxury wish list so just in case any former bays want to um reconcile who watched this video who may want to purchase one of these items if not all of them for uh christmas for your girl you know, holler me, holler at me, holler me, holler at me. My number's still the same. Or if anybody want to be a blessing and provide one of these items, if not all of them to your girl, I can provide you my contact information as well. So, again, this is all for fun. If you're not into luxury, this probably isn't the video for you. If you are one of the ones, why you got to spend all that? this isn't for you just go ahead and bypass and watch some other videos but i love luxury i love designer houses i love all things fashion and beauty so i do have the love for affordable pieces but i also like to dabble in luxury too so if that's your judge <laughs> continue watching okay so first item since we are well in the winter not quite winter season but the temperature are dropping my first luxury wish list item is the balenciaga hourglass coat this coat came out some time ago and i have been loving it i just think it's so unique it's a subtle it's a subtle excuse me difference between a regular coat and it's it gives that hint of edge like oh okay this is a little different and that's one of the things i love about balenciaga they give that edgy aspect still different and i love this coat um i'm open i like the plaid one and as i'm talking i'm posting the pictures here i like the plaid one and yeah the balenciaga the balenciaga hourglass coat number one on my list this list isn't in any type of order however any of these items i would love to have for christmas <laughs> okay the next item is the new Fendi first bag. When I first saw this bag, I'm like, now this is different. I love this bag. It's just so sleek and elegant, but still makes a statement, which I think that's kind of the style that I'm going for now. And I love it. I love it in the black color. It's just so edgy and so rich and just so unique. On the inside of the bag, it has the monogram print. And speaking of monogram print, in addition to the Fendi first bag, I, I love the simple Fendi baguette with the uh, monogram. I just think it's such a bag that can go with anything. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. I love these two bags. So the Fendi first bag and then the Fendi monogram um, baguette. Not a bag, but a baguette. <laughs> I love these two bags. So yes, the, those are on the list too. Now, 
the way that I'm tiptoeing into luxury is through black luxury brands. Now, if you want to give me any items on these lists, start with the black owned brands first. So my first uh, black owned luxury brand that I have on the wish list is the Brandon Blackwood, it's two bags. The Jumbo Kiwi, I think I'm pronouncing that right, bag in black, or the new um, bucket bag in silver. I love these two bags. I actually have been really eyeing the um, large Jumbo um, Brandon Blackwood bag because I have the mini one. I love that little bag. I haven't been a fan of mini bags in the past, but this one just makes such a statement. The one that I have is in the fun, unique color, which I did that intentionally because I don't have too many bags in fun colors, but I would love a structured classic Brandon Blackwood QB jumbo bag. I just think they are so sleek, so elegant, and yeah, they just make a statement. In addition to the Brandon Blackwood bags, the bag of all bags of this season that people just cannot get their hands on is the Telfar tote bag. I want one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a bag. I do have a shirt. I would love a Telfar tote bag, the, mid, the medium size, in my favorite color, cobalt blue. I just think they are so dope. They are very casual bags, in my opinion. And I love the idea that Telfar is trying to bring luxury to the black community where black people can start affording luxury bags. And I'm actually excited to see that his bags are like hotcakes. They are so dope in my opinion. They go with everything. So you can get your hands on the tail file of, I'll take any color, honestly, except for pink. Y'all know how I feel about pink. <laughs> I'll take any color. As long as it's in the medium, holla at you girl. Damn. As far as more luxury uh, black owned businesses, the next piece that I would love to have for the for Christmas is the Fee Noel robe. Fee Noel is a luxury, um, is a black owned luxury brand, brand and Fee Noel herself, I believe, she has this brand that's tailored to um, her mom's aesthetic growing up. Growing up in the South, women who would, you know, dress, um, a certain way going to church. She kind of tailored her brand after that. And I love her wide leg pants, but I'm leery about them because since I'm so tall, they wouldn't have the same effect on me. I don't want the wide leg pants to kind of float. I want those things to hit the ground. They are just so fabulous. Um, she didn't have any on the site when I looked, but this robe, this robe is a statement. I love this robe. It's just so fabulous. If you want to make a statement, but still be subtle and have people like, oh, where did you get that from? <laughs> this is it. So, Fee Noel is another fabulous black-owned brand. If you guys want me to do a video about black-owned brands that you sh should know about, I got this idea from Monroe Steele. Please make sure you're following her. She is... Um, a fabulous YouTuber who is in the fashion and really, really promotes black owned brands. Um, she has a dope video about black owned brands that you should know. And I can also do a video too, let me know, but I'll definitely link hers below. But love this role, it's on the list. Damn. You guys have seen in my Shein hauls and a couple other my hauls, I have these duplicates, dupes, duplicates. But I want a pair of the actual J.W. Anderson slides. I think they are so dope with that chunky chain. They go with everything. It's just a casual, chill vibe where you just want to lounge around. I think they are fabulous. And I want a pair. So, we put those on the list. Now, these earrings, I have been wanting since they came out in 2019. And I was very close to getting them, but I just could not justify the price. <laughs> The LV Louise earrings, they are the LV hoops that you see everybody wearing. I still want those. I'm not even a hoop girl, but I can tell you one thing. I will probably wear those hoops in the ground. I have been eyeing them since 2019, and I think they're fabulous. It's the color of the hoop that just goes with, that gold goes with everything. It's easy to mix with other metallics. It literally goes with everything. I see why um, girls who get those earrings Wearing with everything, they are just fabulous. So we have those on the list. 
And yeah, moving right along. <laughs> now, Hanifa is another black owned brand where I actually got my hands on the coveted cardigan. It's on the way to me. And I got it at a fabulous price. I shopped Black Friday. But she has a new collection that just dropped. And she has this patent coat, which is so fabulous. And one thing about Hanifa, DMV's own. She's from right here. <laughs> I wanted to support her brand because not only is she a black girl doing great things, she's from, she a hometown hero. She from, she from where I'm from. So I do have the car, uh, the cardigan is on the way to me, but I saw this fabulous Lauren dress that I just think is just so different, so unique and makes such a statement. I'm popping the items up here so you can see. Um, and yeah, if you want a screenshot and you know put it put in your Rolodex so when the holidays come, I can provide the sizes as well. <laughs> but I love this dress. I'm loving her brand. I'm loving her pieces. They're still simple, but still packs a punch. That's what I love about. Them. So the Lauren Maxi dress from Hanifa, sharp skin. Now we're gonna take a pause on the clothes and transition to fragrances. The two that I've had my eye on has been the first one, the Tom Ford Bitter Peach. It is something about that scent that just draws me. Every time I go to Sephora, I spray, I douse myself in it just so I can wear it, have it on me for a day or however long. <laughs> I make sure I spray it on my clothes because when I tell you that perfume will last, it will last. And it has such a unique scent where once the dry down happens, I don't know. I It literally smells like, you smell like warm peaches, but not too much where bees would try to get on you, I guess. But it's, it's just a dope scent. In addition to the Tom Ford Better Peach, I wanna know what the hype is about about the Baccarat Rouge 540. Everybody is on that. Um, and yeah, I wanna, I wanna try that out. We put those two on the list because I just cannot justify spending that amount of money on perfume. Something that you literally spray on your body. But no judgment if somebody, you know, wants to hook your girl up, I can give you my information. <laughs> now, another luxury brand that I'm 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 really into right now is Broken Land. They have these dope, dope pleated denim pants where when I first saw them. They were like, whoa. Here's the thing. Again, I'm leery about the pants because of the length, but I will take the risk. I love these pants. They are so fabulous. I first saw them on Mumbro Steel again, and they do have an Instagram account, but I would love these pants. I think they are so fabulous. You can you compare them with so many things. You can keep it simple. You can edge it up. You can take it up a notch, but these pants are it. So. Broken land, they pleated dinner pants. They also have a top to match, but I just I want the pants. So I'll call it your girl. <laughs> now, these Bottega Venice shoes have been around for several years, and you've seen so many duplicates. But it's something about the original pair that I just think is so cool. Daniel Lee. He's now leaving Bottega, but what he's done with the brand, he really has transformed it in such a wonderful contemporary brand that all of the fashion girls just dig it. But these Bottega Venetia mesh pumps with the chain, I just think they are so fabulous. And I heard that Bottega um, Venetia shoes are the most comfortable pumps and they're so edgy. Now, of course I wouldn't wear them in the dead of winter, but I just think they are such a vibe. And I want, I want a pair, I want to try out a pair. So, a pair of Bottega Veneta pumps, in addition to the pumps, you can go ahead and throw in uh, the iconic Bottega Veneta cassette bag and or the pouch to go <laughs> with it as well. So, those two items, yes, we need on the list. And last on the list is a Rolex watch. Now, I'm an Apple user, yes, I am one, but I always wanted a Rolex watch. I think a fabulous timepiece on men and women is just dope. 
and I would love a fabulous Rolex watch with the green face, gold, just makes a statement. In addition to the Rolex gold, gold watch, I said that was the last one, but this is the last one, to be paired with the iconic Cartier love bracelet to go with the ring, that's two items. I just think investing in good pieces, like, such as Rolexes and Cartier bracelets, these are pieces that you can pass down to your children. It can be family heirlooms, literally. And I want one. I want all three. Now, this is when we get to the wealthy of the wealthy. Because these items are expensive. So, this is my luxury wish list. And yeah, if you feel it in your heart to bless your girl, do so. And I encourage you to make your own wish list of luxury items or whatever it is that you want. And see what may happen. So, we might end up with some things depending on who watches this video. <laughs> I don't know. But I just thought this would be a fun video to make. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below the, uh, the things that you're hoping for Christmas. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.